In this video, we will be taking these four images, the headshot of this man, a doctor's uniform, this bottle of multivitamins, as well as the hospital scene in the background. And then using all these images, we will be combining them and turning them into a single video like this one. As a doctor, I recommend this vitamin brand to help you stay energized, focused, and healthy every day. The number one multivitamin brand in the world. Trusted by millions, backed by science. Two important AI tools will help us achieve this. The first is going to be Flux Context with its multiple image reference feature, which will help us create that image from all these different images. Once we have a combined image, the main work here will be done by the tool that you can see in front of you, which is HeyGen AI with its latest Avatar 4 model, which is absolutely amazing because now not only can you lip sync, but you can actually produce those uh, very human-like emotions and gestures like the one that you saw in the video. The best part is that at least to start off things with, you will be able to use everything that I'm showing you here for free. As always, the links to download the images that I'm using here, as well as the links to all the AI tools are in the description. So let's get started. First of all, by going over to Open Art AI, where we will be accessing Flux Context Max. So once you do create your account, just go over to Create Image. And then we're going to select our, you can just close all this. We're going to select our model. Make sure under Model, this is set to Flux Context Max. Once that is the case, we are going to scroll down and right under the Omni reference feature, we are going to upload all these four images. So let's do that. So to get the prompt, I've gone over to ChatGPT where I have uploaded all these four images and I've written create a prompt to generate a single image from these four images. A ma the man in the image is wearing the doctor's clothes and holding the bottle that is there in the image. The background behind is the one that is shown in the third image. And just analyzing this, ChatGPT has given me this really nice prompt. So I'm going to copy this. Then I'm going to go back here and just paste it under the prompt section. Let's create four images. And final thing is that we'll just have to select an aspect ratio. Since we are going to turn this into a video, usually it's a good idea to either go for 16 is to 9, which will be the wide aspect ratio. Or if you're doing this for Instagram reel or something like that, then you can go for a longer version like 9 by 16. So right now, I'm going to select 16 is to 9. And I'm going to hit create. And let's wait for these results. All right, so our four results are ready. Let's have a look at this. So this is the first result. You can see this looks absolutely amazing. Soon we are going to pick one result, open it up and also compare each of those elements to judge the consistency. But right now, this is the first one. You can see that doesn't even have that AI look at all. Looks like a proper photograph. Even the depth of field, when you consider the background, the perspective, everything is just spot on. And each of these results is amazing. Maybe in this one is just missing a finger. So sometimes that can happen. But you look at this, maybe this time there's an additional finger. So till now, the first result is the best one. Uh, yeah, I think we're just having today some issues with the finger. So one of the results, the first result uh, is the best one till now. But then you could see that I had tried it out earlier. And one of the results that I really liked was this one. So we're going to proceed with this. But before we go to HeyGen, let's quickly test the consistency here. So first of all, let's have a look at the man himself. Yes, very, very close to that. In fact, I would say... There's no problem here at all. Then let's look at the bottle because this is important because it had text and logo on it. Sometimes Flux Context does suffer a bit with that, but here you can see it has done a pretty good job. Let's look at the uniform here. Looks really good. And of course, the scene behind looks absolutely perfect. So everything is good here. We're going to download this image and now is the time to move on to HeyGen AI. So again, the link is in the description. Once you go there, just create your free account, you will be able to even use the latest Avatar 4 model, which we will be using three times even on the free account. So once you've created your account, I will see you on the next page. All right, so I'm here on the main page. The first time when you do it, it would have probably asked you and shown you a plan to choose. So obviously you're gonna select the free plan there. And after that, usually it shows like a little survey. So make sure you complete that. And once everything is done, you're gonna see this page. You just have to use this option, which says try avatar four. And it's a very simple interface. First of all, we're going to upload the image that we just created inside open art. This is done. The next part is we just have to write our script. So either you can write it down here, or if you have your own audio, you can upload it here. As you're going to see the built-in voices that HeyGen AI already has 
are really, really good. But in case you're planning to do this somewhere else, I would highly recommend that you do it at Levin Labs AI because that is undoubtedly the best AI for making voiceovers is the most realistic one. And I've shown that in this video where I was showing how to create or use the lip syncing feature inside Kling AI. So if you haven't seen this video, I'll leave a link to this in the description. You can watch that part where I've shown how to use Levin Labs AI to create custom voiceovers completely for free. But right now what we're going to do is we're simply going to type out a script here. So I already use ChatGPT for this and this is the script that I have. As a doctor, I recommend this vitamin brand to help you stay energized, focused and healthy every day the number one multivitamin brand in the world trusted by millions backed by science now one very important thing you have to pay attention to here is this character limit sometimes i've seen hagen gives you 140 character limit sometimes it gives you 210 and that is ultimately basically the length of the voiceover or the length of the video in this case so right now it's 15 seconds in case of 140 characters it's 10 seconds so there you'll just have to if it was showing 140 you'll just have to delete some part of it, okay? So it's completely random. I don't know why they do that. So the next thing after this is we have to select the voice. So the best part about Heijen is that it automatically analyzes your the image that you've uploaded and it gives you three voices here. And usually these are pretty good. Hey there, here's how I sound. So one is you can select either of these three. If you don't like these three, you can hit the refresh button and it's gonna show you next three. Or you can even go down to this part here and set some filters like the languages, the accent, the emotion and all these things and try to find your own voice. So I really like one of the voices it has given me which was Ishan and it's called Easygoing Ishan. So this went very well with the... Hey there, here's how I sound. Hope you like it. With the image that we had. So I'm going to just select this. So that is also done. The next part is this custom motion box here. I tried a lot. I said this other hand should be pointing towards the bottle ultimately uh, when the video is generated, but it didn't really work out. The best results I got was when I just left this completely empty. However, the next part is extremely important, which is this little button that says more expressive. So if you remember the video that we saw, he did seem very expressive. That was down to the fact that this is switched on. I'll also be showing you some other variations where this was off and you'll see that he pretty much feels very emotionless in those. So I would highly suggest if you want a realistic uh, look with a lot of emotions, then because that kind of gets rid of that AI feel to it, okay? Make sure this is set on. On the free plan, you can only select the standard definition. You can't select the full uh, HD one anyway. And that's about it. You really don't do anything apart from this, apart from just hitting the generate video button. And let's wait for the results. They usually take around um, five minutes or something. So let's see these results. All right, so I've generated this twice. We already have our first result, which is ready here. So let's just play this. As a doctor, I recommend this as a doctor, I recommend this vitamin brand to help you stay energized, focused, and healthy every day. The number one multivitamin brand in the world, trusted by millions, backed by science. As a doc So you could see this is not bad at all. What probably I would say here is that there was just too much of his head shaking towards the ending, but still I think this is pretty good, looked very, very real. Like I said, if you don't want this much of emotions being displayed, you can also go for the other option, which is to turn off that more expressive one. So for some reason, this video is taking a lot of time. So what we do is till that time, we'll just see some of the other generations that I had made. So this was the first result that I got. And I just want to show you sometimes what are the kind of things that can go a bit wrong. So let's see this. As a doctor, I recommend this vitamin brand to help you stay energized, focused, and healthy every day. So right now you can see, right? So if you just look at that look he just gave. Yeah. Every day. The number So these little things sometimes, I mean, it's still in the beta mode, as Heijin people say, so it's definitely going to get better. But I do want to show you what happens with this less expressive thing when you turn this off. And you're going to see an instant difference between these two because that was the only difference. As a doctor, I recommend this vitamin brand to help you stay energized, focused, and healthy every day the number one multivitamin brand in the world. So this can also be okay for certain people who don't want those crazy gestures. And here the voice also, I had selected a different voice just to test things out. Then there was a video which was really good from the point of view of the lip syncing, but the background behind just went crazy. So this was the third As generation. As a doctor, I recommend this vitamin brand to help you stay energized, focused, and healthy every day. The number one multivitamin brand in the world, trusted by millions, backed by science. 
as you can see here, the syncing was really nice, but the background behind was moving. Uh, my favorite result was the one that you saw in the starting of the video, which was this fourth one. As a doctor, I recommend this vitamin brand to help you stay energized, focused, and healthy every day. The number one multivitamin brand in the world, trusted by millions, backed by science. So there was just a slight uh, out of sync scenario here, just a very slight one, but I think still overall it was pretty good. Let's just see the less expressive version of this. As a doctor, I recommend this vitamin brand to help you stay energized, focused, and healthy every day. The number one multivitamin brand in the world. So here another problem was that his face was totally different when it started off. So that's another artifact. I recommend problem. this vitamin brand to help you stay energized, focused, and healthy. So you can see here. So these are some of the issues. Let's quickly go back if our result is ready and let's just see this. As a doctor, I recommend this vitamin brand to help you stay energized, focused, and healthy every day. The number one multivitamin brand in the world, trusted by millions, backed by science. Yeah, I think that was also pretty good. So you can see that it really gets most of the outputs pretty much spot on. So this is something that we have to keep an eye out for because this is just the start. They're only going to make this better. So in case this video helped you out, do give it a like. And if you want to follow along all my experiments in the AI image and video editing world, then make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.